Hello, and welcome to The Daily Jump. I am delighted to have as my special guest today, Sepha Day, who is physically located in the Netherlands this morning. Uh, Sepha Day is an old friend of mine that I met 15 years ago while I was at grad school. She's someone who really impressed me at the time with her positivity. Oh. <laughs> The theme of our this week at the Daily Jump is stay positive no matter what. And what really impressed me at that particular time in our lives together, Sepha Day, was um, you were at a very international uh, graduate school and you are a student of the world uh, whose origins and whose family ties are closest to Iran. So you were studying in the U.S. at a time of great uncertainty for your country when tensions were particularly high. And it was your passion at the time to keep dialogue uh, going between the U.S. and Iran. And I was really impressed how you approached it because you were just wanting people to know each other. And... Uh, so you really impressed me at that time, your passion, your drive, your spirit uh, that stayed with me. It's made an imprint on my heart. And now, these many years later, you are located in the Netherlands. You yes. still have very close ties with Iran. You've got family there. Um, you're a mother with a beautiful daughter. Yes. Who's at home with you. Yes. And you are a professor at a... <laughs> University and your your area of specialty <laughs> is global health. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so absolutely. so many things for us to explore <laughs> and all of that. Um, but what I'd like to just start with is, uh, you know, how are things where you are and what's going on in this big jump that we're all taking together as global citizens as we all unite in dealing with the reality of coronavirus. Absolutely. So first of all, let me um, yeah, say that it is an amazing initiative that you have taken because it's, as you say, it's, it's such a weird period that everybody is living with this uncertainty and just, you know, going day by day uh, to see what is going to happen, how is it going to develop and everything. So thinking right now to document the positive, you know, aspects of our lives and how we take this change, you know, into our lives, uh, you know, doing it so fast. I was so impressed to hear that you want to do that. So thank you. And yeah, like, like you just said, everything changed. And even though uh, I was following the news um, a lot earlier because of, uh, you know, it started in China and then my country also started having all these changes uh, very, very fast. And it was like overnight when I heard from my sisters and my nieces that the schools are closed and they have to stay and work from home and everything developed really, really fast. So at some point, um, I was like in this um, uh, mood that, you know, we need to talk about it in the Netherlands. We need to do something, you know, here. Mm -hmm. And I teach uh, for college students. So I wanted to do that, that in, at the college level. But at the same time, there was this policy that, you know, we're not there yet and it's, it's not as bad yet. So let's not make people panic about it. So uh, we start with with my students. We decided to take an academic, you know, approach to it. So we said that okay, then let's talk about it only from an academic perspective. What is going on? What is the available data so far? As little as it is, so let's let's have a look as you know at, at what what the papers are telling us and everything. So we had this lunch seminar, and a lot of people came. And we also use that opportunity to say that, you know, it's, it's the, the simple instructions and the simple, you know, ways of, you know, living and being that could help with this. And in, within 10 days, things changed a lot here, too. And, um, you know, I was uh, we had a, this coffee meeting on Thursday last week and um, they told us that maybe at some point we also need to close down the university. We don't know when, but maybe it comes to us as well. And, you know, I came home and that very evening they said that, yes, we've done that. And uh, we have to stay home and work from home. 
um, yeah, and the next day the school uh, decided to do that, uh, and yeah, it's it's a very different way of living. It's uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it's it's something to be all, all the time together over the weekend, but it's something else to have that, you know, all around the week to work and to be a parent and for her also to to make herself entertained. And um, it's a very, very different kind of life right now. And um, yeah. Yes. So given that very different kind of life that you are launched into, that you've jumped into. Um, what are you finding as the opportunities in this? Yes, I, um, so, so what happened was that um, they announced um, over the weekend that uh, the, also the schools are uh, closed, but um, the school was in touch with us all the way, uh, sending us updates and updates, and they said that we are thinking to continue the um, online learning also for students. So my my child is at the um, third grade of the primary school. Yeah. So um, we knew that something is gonna you know uh, pro is going to be provided for us, but it wasn't still. And I knew that on Monday and Tuesday I, I have to work a lot online. So what I did was that uh, over the weekend I thought you know um, it would be nice to think of something that you know she is busy in a good way. Um, so when my mom was here over the summer, she uh, taught her how to read and write uh, Farsi in our uh, own language. So what I did was to prepare some homework and I thought, okay, I need to do something. And I talked to her and I said, let me know how the homework is in uh, Dutch so that I could use those uh, models, those, you know, formats and have some, you know, something in Farsi with the same format, but in a different language. And she was so excited. She was all over the place. So she came and sat with me and she said, yeah, this is one way to do that. It's so she talked about, you know, we do puzzles, we do this, we do that, and gave me all different examples. And, you know, she was happy. She brought one of her books to show it to me. And it was very inspirational. So I was up for a few hours over that um, evening to make things for her, and it really worked. So uh, on Monday, I had to teach. I had to have, you know, some online meetings, and she was working all the way, and she was also excited. And I think that was a good, you know, um, uh, yeah, a good way to say that, okay, this is what we have now, and let's see how we can be proactive about it, how we can do something that, you know, um, yeah, to decide... Um, in advance as to, you know, what is our plan for the day and how we can help each other to to not to get bored, to do something and, yeah, to, to help each other out. She's a good team player. Yeah. You know, I've been really impressed with the number of things, um, people that are putting learning opportunities for kids online. Um, one of the things I came across this morning was um, an Indigenous group in uh, Alberta okay. and they were teach they've got some modules that are up i can send you the link for that and i can put it in the comment feed for this video as well so that other people can look at that resource um but the one that i saw that indra and i are going to do later this morning as part of our schedule for the day is a store indigenous storytelling um i think it's aimed at grade four or grade five but i it's probably accessible for younger than that um, but I've just been delighted to see the generosity with people are sharing, you know, wanting to keep teaching. Yeah. And uh, I think there's an opportunity for kids to connect to things around the world as, as right. well. So he's, I reached out to that man this morning to see if I could get him onto the Daily Jump. So oh. um, we'll, we'll, we'll see if, uh, if I'm successful. But I think that you know you're on to something. There's some opportunities, and maybe even opportunity to link up with your family in Iran to have them teach your daughter, exactly, and have that sort of virtual um, connection to speak in Farsi um, and so on. So, so how are your family doing in Iran? Yeah, it is. Um, it is a lot worse than here. The, the numbers are a lot higher, and uh, the number of the people who are infected or who have, you know, so it, it is a lot. So I'm worried for them, but they are also doing self quarantine all the time. So uh, my sister doesn't go to work. My niece um, is at home, 
also, you know, doing the online education. It's only my brother-in-law who goes to work, but literally going with the car to work and nobody is there or a few people are there and coming back, cleaning and sterilizing everything. And so, so it is, it is stressful, but I think, I guess for now, that's the new norm. Yes. Everywhere. Not just, uh, yeah. Yes. And how, what week are they at with kind of self quarantine? How far are they into this? They're ahead of us. There are a lot ahead of us. Yeah, I I think probably fifth or yeah fifth or sixth or something. Yes. Wow. Yeah. 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 Also, you mentioned about the opportunities in this period. Um, I also reached out, um, and that was actually how how we came to talk to each other, uh, because. Uh, Online teaching and online learning has been going around all the time, but also, you know, in this context, I wanted to see how um, how I can have it more effectively uh, with students. So I also reached out um, through LinkedIn, through Facebook, and many people responded to that. So it's it's uh, amazing to see how to to see the amount of care that people have for each other. So to respond to the calls to to get. To, to, to get back to each other that, you know, I know this, I know about this tool, about that tool. So I'm really, really impressed with the amount of uh, support that I see um, in my network. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. And I would echo that that's something that I've been seeing overall in my day-to-day -day life is that, I, you know, and it, I was saying, talking to, to my husband, to Joe this morning about it. I said, you know, a world that has been, you know, we, we talk a lot about how people are engaged in a lot of escapism activities, like watching TV, being in their phones, et cetera. You would have thought that when everything kind of stopped, like it has right now, that people would have all the time in the world to do that. And instead, what I'm seeing is the opposite. Yes. yes. That I'm seeing people more present to each other and available to the other each other absolutely almost as if whatever they were escaping from is gone exactly exactly and now they're choosing to show up where they're most passionate and where they care the most yes and i have found that everyone is looking for ways to help each other and is paying attention to each other in ways that wasn't th weren't there uh, a week ago. So yes. yes, I see a lot of hope. I see a lot of hope. Also, the appreciation of the, this support, like you know, um, in the Netherlands, it, it uh, the this you know closing down and canceling after the classes and everything. It just started, but to acknowledge the fact that there are people in the front line. line so early in advance and also being uh, public about it, you know, putting it out there. Like last night, um, people um, stayed outside to uh, to just appreciate the health personnel in the hospitals and everything. So publicly everywhere they were, you know, clapping outside for like five minutes. To, so this amount of, you know, uh, acknowledgement and care and being for one another, this is what surprised me a lot because, you know, at some point I wasn't sure if, you know, with this digital world, with, you know, how people are being divided and how people are, you know, um, going in indoor and, you know, uh, just, just, yeah, just locking each, you know, um, locking themselves uh, in. Yeah. I didn't expect this. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. And I love what you just said, which is, it gives me a lot of hope, you know, <laughs> that, yes. that this situation that we're in now, that to hear you say that um, is a beautiful message. <laughs> so is there anything else you'd like to add to our conversation? Anything that you want to um, leave us with? Just, I think we all, we all have one shared thing that you know. In, in, with this crisis came 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 out more clearly than ever. That what we appreciate a lot more is uh, life, is being together, is caring for each other, to reach out. And I think this was so precious for me. That uh, with friends, with family, with everybody, it's just an amazing uh, gift 
that you know uh, we you know despite everything we appreciate uh, being with one another and that that's beautiful yeah it is and that's a beautiful note to end this on so Sepade I just want to really thank you for being present with us today here <laughs> on the daily jump it was a pleasure yeah thank you Sepade <laughs>